What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am Lloyd, I am not the single guy, but I have a very important question that I'm going to answer right now, so let's get to it. The guy writes, hey Lloyd, I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. Uh, I've been using dating apps a lot and most of the women I message are not responding. I get left on red very frequently. I know part of this is a numbers game, but whenever I get left on red, I feel really down and feel like giving up. How can I deal with this? So this is a great question just because I get it a lot, you know. If you're a guy, if you're a person, if you're a living being who has a phone, you're probably going to get left on red at some point. And it's okay. It's not a big deal. In the grand scheme of things, somebody not responding to you or, you know, somebody just not replying back. It doesn't even have to be responding. Sometimes people say they get left on red and they don't even ask a question, <laughs> you know. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's more your interpretation of it. So I'm gonna give you a few things, man. I'm gonna give you number one, the mindset shift that you need to have to get over this because literally your ability to deal with discomfort, rejection, to deal with things not going exactly your way will determine your success in not just dating, but in life. So dealing with this is gonna be incredibly important for you. And the next thing is I'm gonna give you some, you guys some quick tips on what I generally think um, happens when guys aren't getting, uh, or they're getting left on red a lot, okay? So we'll cover the quick tips first and then I'll give you the mindset shift, which is really the more important thing uh, after that. So, some quick tips. All right, if you're getting left on red a lot, especially, well, if you're using dating apps, you're gonna get left on red, even if you do everything correct. People are, you know, very fickle. So that's just going to happen. Um, but in general, a few things that I've seen guys do that make it more likely that they get left on red is they send large blocks of text. Large blocks of text, the, you know, the girl's reading it, she's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to write all this in response, otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna look mean. So then she waits a long time to do it and then she just never gets around to it, okay? So I would, make I would recommend that you break up your text into smaller uh, sentences and, and try and keep it a little shorter. And uh, you know, that, that generally does help. The other thing too is that a lot of times guys respond with really boring you know, like things to respond with, like things that are not going to help them um, actually make progress with this person, or they're not they're not interesting, they're not exciting. And again, if you're on a dating app and she's gotten like messages from like six or seven other guys, and you're just giving her like bland, generic, like not, I'm not even going to say small talk, but like you're giving her just like yes or no answers, there's no substance to it, there's no excitement, then you're probably going to, that's what you're gonna get, you know? Every now and then try and mix it up. Be like, hey, random question, are you a gymnast? Or like, you'll never guess what happened to me. You know, little things like that can add a little bit of flavor to it and make it more likely for that, that she's gonna uh, respond and not leave you on red. But if it's long, if it's boring, if it has no substance to it, there's nothing interesting behind it, then you're probably gonna get left on red a little more. Okay, those are small tips, uh, but in general, I would say even if you do everything right, you're still it's still gonna happen to you. So what do you do in these circumstances, okay? The first thing is that you don't beat yourself up. The second thing is that you realize that getting left on red does not necessarily mean it's a rejection. I know that's crazy to say, a lot of people think, but if she liked you, she would definitely get back with you. Dude, you should see my phone, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm busy all the time, and so sometimes if a girl that I really like messages me and I look at it, I'm like, okay, I'll get back to her, and then I forget. Happens all the fucking time. Can't tell you how often it happens, all right? That's why sometimes, you know, I'll, <laughs> if a girl does it to me, I'm not too, not too bothered by it. You know, not too bothered by it. You have to cultivate the same mentality, bro. Right now you're in a position where you think naturally, you think as you are, women are just not gonna like you. That's why when they do nothing, you think they think the same thing about you. You think they think you're worthless. You think they think you're a loser or you're ugly or you're not attractive or they don't like you. That's not the case. Or maybe it might be the case in very weird circumstances, but I know women and I've seen this happen time and time again and usually it's not that. Usually it's like, yeah, maybe they found another guy a little bit more attractive than you. Maybe it just wasn't enough for you. Typically with a dating app, typically with dating, women need something a little bit more than just four pictures from you. Just four pictures. You know, that's a lot of times all they have to determine who you are and, and where you're coming from and what kind of guy you are. And because of that, they don't think that that's enough of a reason to text you. And that's okay. Just because they don't know you well enough doesn't mean that you're going to, that, that that's who you are as a person. 
okay? Stop thinking about yourself as like, oh, my attractiveness is literally determined whether this person responds to me or not. Not true. Not true. My guess is, bro, you need something in your life that you can feel good about, that you can feel important about. Maybe it's an activity, maybe it's a sport, maybe it's your career. If you do well in that, if you're moving forward in your life, you're probably gonna build more confidence in that and you know deep down inside you're an awesome guy. And that way, no matter what any girl does to you, whether she leaves you on red or not, you're still, you're still an awesome guy. And it wouldn't bother you as much, okay? So if that's the case, I would recommend that you find something in your life to get yourself more fulfilled. And you might not know what it is yet, but just going out and doing things helps. The other thing too, and this is the last thing that I will leave you guys with, is even if you do see it as a rejection, even if you ask her a question like, hey, are you free Friday? Question mark. And she doesn't answer. You think, how could that be anything but a rejection? It might be a rejection, okay? She might not be interested. In fact, it's probably likely that she isn't interested. That doesn't mean it's over. That doesn't mean it's an outright rejection. I know this because I've had women do this to me tons of times. I ran into them at a bar later or, uh, I don't know, sometime in the future, and then we hooked up, and then we got together. I've had this happen so many times to me, bro, that I know if, even if I like uh, send a message and she ignores it, like there's still a pretty good chance that she might be into me. Maybe she's busy or maybe her ex-boyfriend came back in the picture or I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she had a bad mood that day. That happens all the time with women. So I don't judge myself based on it. I assume the attraction. I keep doing whatever it is I was going to do for it and I don't let it affect me because I know that if I let these little things affect me, it's going to affect my life. It's going to affect my overall um, experience as a man. And as a result, I'm not going to be as successful in my dating and professional life. Hopefully some of these things that I've told you will make it easier for you the next time you get left on red. Okay, my other, my other, uh, a little quick tip too is you can be texting multiple women at the same time. That way one of, one of them leaves you on red. It's not that big of a deal. But if you find yourself getting left on red by all of them, well, it might be time to get some personal help or some coaching or something like that uh, and figure that out. But with this video, you should be able to have the mentality to deal with it yourself. So. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you've made it and consider subscribing, I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in getting coached by me personally, there's a link in the description box below. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.